What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Razrog. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and this right here is an awesome little cool tabletop inspired dungeon crawl RPG game. It's very similar to something like a card dungeon and Guild of Dungeoneering, which are games we've actually covered in the past. So I have a really strong affinity towards games like this because it gives me the entire tabletop feel without necessarily having to clean up after myself because I'm really terrible when it comes down to that part. But otherwise, I really do enjoy tabletop games. So let's get into the game over here as soon as possible, get the ball rolling. As you can see right here, we have our cast of characters. There's a bit of a story involved as well. Essentially, these travelers, these adventurers, were brought down together through a series of circumstances. Essentially, they were all attacked together and they joined forces to fend off evil. They ran into some random inn in the forest and they went in here to rest for the night. Nobody was in here. No tavern keeper, no people. And that's where our little story actually takes place. We have to find out, hey, what, what happened here to begin with? But more importantly, we have our cast of characters as well. We have the mage, we have the archer, we have the paladin, got ourselves the warlock, the old rogue, the warrior, and we also have the summoner right here as well. Personally, I'm a big cleric paladin guy, so we're going to be going with this character right here. So let's go ahead and give her a rename. Let's go with um, the old... That's that's not how you spell Falcon at all. Like, it's not a K, it's a, it's an L. You'll be Falconess, because you're obviously a female. Can't call you... I could call you Falcon, I guess. But you'll be the Falconess where that name would pride. So the paladin starts with a two-handed sword. Upon leveling up, the paladin's endurance increases by two. So very tanky individual, obviously. Um, over here, we have our, our shared stash. Over here we have skills which we're able to like, you know, unlock and equip down in our little quick bar down below. Here we could actually make a couple of new weapons and repair them. Inventory, and these are just, what are you supposed to be? Achievements, right? And here's our map. And once we rescue the tavern guy, he'll hang out right over here and actually be able to sell his weapons, sell his items, and we'll be able to sell extra junk to him as well. So that's about all there is to it right now. Let's get into the game as soon as possible. This comes out, by the way, on the 31st. There you go. <laughs> This comes out on 31st, so we do have an early look at the game here, so if you want to see a bit more, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a like. Right now, I'm only doing a one-shot, but if you guys want to see some more, I'm totally down for it. So we have a random event to start off the dungeon. Provides one extra movement distance. Okay. Now, when we first start off the dungeon over here, we are completely buck naked. Nothing to our name right now, so the first thing we want to do is jump over here and grab ourselves our weapon. Take that now. And we have the Blunt Wooden Two-Handed Sword, Intellect 1, 35 Cell Value, 45 Durability, okay. And that's all we have here for now. This little Poisonous Cloud over here, great. That will obviously hurt you, it is a... Uh, an area of effect, essentially. We could use it to your advantage, so you could lure enemies down there to kind of hurt them as well, but... A lot of the times the AI is really smart, so they'll try to obviously avoid that, so... It won't really help you out too many times, but sometimes it works out. Like, for instance, let me give it a try here if I can. Now you, my friend, would you do me the favor of um, coming down this way, perhaps? Let's see if he'll confide in me here. He might just go down this way instead. As a matter of fact, I think he will. But you never know. Let's end our turn here. Instead, he decided to throw down a, a poison cloud. Is that a caterpillar or a slime? I think it's like a caterpillar of some kind. Uh, let me move over here and end my turn. I really want to show this off here. Well... <laughs> He's too smart for that, it seems. Okay, never mind then. As I mentioned, sometimes the AI will be too smart for that, but on occasion they'll be really dumb and just be like, Oh, cool, I'm gonna just run through these spikes over here. But there we go. First one down. What do we have here? Potions, excellent. We'll take these right now. And... Instantly equipped, okay. And this will be a way for us to return to the start of the dungeon in case we are struggling. If you die with one of your characters in the dungeon, you don't lose them forever, they're basically captured. And then with another different character, you can actually come into the prison and rescue them as well, which is pretty cool. We're kind of doing the same right now for the tavern owner. We're trying to rescue him from the prison right now. So this will be our first skill, which is going to be the piercing attack. Deals 120 melee damage to the person in front of you. And the person behind them will take 100% damage. So you can hit two at once. And it's kind of really important because a lot of the times you'll be dealing with multiple enemies at once. Right now, since we're in the tutorial, it'll just be one at a time. Oh, well, it's not true, actually. There's a, there's a two-on-one scenario coming up pretty soon, if I'm right. Now, thus... Ooh, nice attack. Thus far, I'm making this look pretty easy, right? It's not easy at all. I am not ashamed to admit that I actually lost my rogue on this very same dungeon the uh, first time around. <laughs> I 
I got knocked out and I was like, well, wait a minute. And it was against this rat. I just couldn't land a hit on the rat and the rat just did a number on me. It was really ridiculous. So, it's looking very easy right now, but believe me, this game ramps up in difficulty by the next dungeon over. You're kind of like, okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. So, let's see here. The only thing I don't think this game allows you to do is move forward. So I can't, like, move the camera upwards. I have to zoom out and then rotate if I want to get a good idea what's happening. Which I don't even know why it does that. I kind of really don't like that too much, but... If you want to get a good look at what's up coming up ahead, zoom out. And, you know, rotate to your heart's content over here. So right now we have a summoner, if I'm right. We also have another skill right here for us, and this will be... Fortitude. Temporarily increases your health by 40%. And since we're a bit hurt, let me drop one potion on myself, and let me go ahead and move forward. Use Fortitude. And that'll increase my HP up to 57 from 41. So that's not too bad. Now we want to get here. Stop running, Summoner! And he summoned himself a little Skeletor right there on me. That's okay, he should be going- oh my god, that was a great hit. I dodged it. Ignore the Skeletor, because if you bring him down... It's over. Okay, and we got the prison door key. Pop you open. Is that a pizza right there? Oh, what are you doing with- Oh, come on. Who just puts it on the table? At least we use a plate, you savages. Good God, these guys have no manners at all. Pop this open. And we have armor. We got a thousand and eight loot. And we have the legacy gem. Used to forge legacy stats at the legacy forge. We'll take everything for now. Pop this open. And since we leveled up, let's go ahead and give ourselves a couple of stats here. And obviously, since we're a tank class, let's go with a bit more endurance. So we'll do maybe like three endurance. One, two, strength, and... Uh, you know what? Let's just go with one more to strength right there, too. Just make us as tanky and strong hitting as possible. We have an unknown armor. If you right-click this over here, it'll tell you what it is. And this happens to be the thick leather armor, which gives us agility plus one. We'll use that for now. And I love that, too, that you can see the visible difference on the character portrait. Not only in the portrait, but also in the game table right here. I love games that do that. Let me see what I'm putting on my characters. I really enjoy that a lot. Small little thing, you know, but I, I just really like it in games. So there we go. This should be the end of this dungeon right here. How you doing, buddy? What? What do you want me to do? Let's get out of this dungeon. What, you want me to open the door as well? Why, you can't open it yourself? This guy. Save his ass, and he's the one who to open the door for him. And here's our level complete. We got a couple of gold crowns, experience for that. Select a reward. So we have like a shield of some kind, maybe a defensive item, random item, and a weapon as well. Let me go with... I would love to get a couple of extra potions, so let me go with that right there. That could be an accessory as well. We'll see. What it is it? What is it? What is it? Don't know yet. Gotta unseal it first. Okay. So this should give us access to the second dungeon, which we'll probably end up doing. But before we do that, let me go back to... So return to tavern. And that's my paladin right here. So what's on your... you have four potions left over. Small mana potion. And this is this... oh, it's a common gem that we picked up. Alright, let's uh, unlock this. What is it? Oh, hey, it's uh, actually... ooh. It's uh, a strength plus one amulet for me. Okay. So I want to keep that on her. We'll equip it in the dungeon. And if we come over here, we could buy a couple of things from this dude as well. Got some headgear as well. We could probably buy this. It costs 60, huh? That's not too bad. I'm gonna continue using the Paladin. I really enjoy that class. So let's go with that one, but I'll probably use these guys later. So this should be enough. Let's go back over to the world map if we can. And dungeon number two. This is gonna be a defeat all enemies map. Okay. Well, as long as the number that I have to defeat isn't really too ridiculous, I have to kill 16 of them. That's eh, kind of ridiculous, but okay. Random event. Provides one extra movement distance, which is the same one we had before, if I'm right, so... I was hoping for something a bit better, but so be it. So let's find out what we have here. Let's, uh, unlock the uncommon armor. And we got, of course, a goddamn shield, which I can't even use. We'll save it for somebody else, though. And over here we have the filthy leather helmet, which gives me a bit more strength, so let's equip that now. Very cool. And let's also give you the amulet. Alright, that'll do. This will be for HP healing over time. All right, let's go for it. So, 16 enemies have to go down for this one. There's gas here and gas here. We should probably go all the way around. But let's just go through this door here first and see what awaits us. Just another hallway. And here we got... Raticate and Caterpie as well. Just ready to evolve. Have they spotted me? Not yet. 
Ooh. Should be able to get a weapon from that, hopefully. So, preferably, I want to get you guys to deal with me one at a time, so let me drop back and my turn. Oh, you're gonna stop chasing me now, are you? Come on. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and drop your poison cloud. Come after me, though. There you go. I'll take that one hit. Ideally, what I would love right now is for the rat to get behind the slime dude, and then we can use our piercing attack and hit both of them at once, but... It seems like this guy's going down before that even happens. We found some items here. I'll check those out later. Right now, we'll see it with Ratman. Oh, 24 damage. That's what's up. <laughs> now, unfortunately, these guys are only giving me like one experience per kill. So, 14 of 39 is going to take a while for us to level up. As a matter of fact, we're looking at what, 25? 25 kills at one experience each to level up. So, we probably won't even level up from this dungeon unless we get it from the reward. So, this is what we got from the little table right now. It'll be another shield. Oh, good. I need those. Another shield. And we have a wooden hammer. It's a dual, a dull. That was dual. We could do like two-handed. No, it's only a dull wooden hammer, which is some um, shittier than our sword. So we'll probably wind up either giving those to another class member or selling them, whichever one comes first. Okay, let's pop this door open here and see what awaits us. Long hallway. Slime man. And Ratman again. So early on, you get a bunch of the slimes and the rats. As you get further into the game, you actually start unlocking like the orcs and the ogres and the goblins and the dragons and the ghosts and all that crazy stuff here. But right now, early on, it just seems to be just very slime or caterpie rabbit heavy. Um, yeah, like follow me down this way if you don't mind. Uh huh. As a matter of fact, let me drop one more. Come after me. There you go. Perfect. I'll take that one hit. It's fine. We have a couple of potions after all. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, I dodged too. And now you're down. <laughs> Should probably be using our fortitude skill more often too. Uh, let me drop one potion on myself now. And again, we have to kill every single enemy to clear this dungeon, so it's not like I can just run away from them. Let me drop fortitude on myself now though. Now remember, we have the berries too, which will help us heal up over time. But right now, I think we are at eh, 36 of 81. It's not too bad still. All right, so that guy is down. Is that? Ooh, we have armor over here. Hopefully armor. Something good I could wear, not another goddamn shield. Okay, another amulet. You are agility plus one. So we lose our strength and we get more agility. So we'll attack more often, but do less damage. Considering we're not really too fast, I don't think it's going to be too beneficial, so I'll just skip that for now. Next one it is. Alright, I see slime. Oh, more armor. Good, good, good. Slimer, Caterpie. Let's come down this way. There he goes. Okay, so we'll move forward. Attack. I'm trying to conserve my mana, so I don't want to use my piercing attack for more damage. Got to conserve a little bit. Let's um see what's in here. Something good. Come on. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, that's a ring, though. You know what? We don't have a, a ring equipped, so it'll be something good. What is this supposed to be? Agility. Okay, well, they're dead set on giving me agility, so we'll take it. So there you go with that. We're at 5 of 16. Let's have to kill 11 more of these critters here. Skill. Ooh, nice. Can I get, like, a possibly a heal skill? That would be very useful right now. A fireball! Something tells me that's not for my class. <laughs> that's probably something we'll probably give to our mage at some point, but not for us. But it's pretty cool that you actually find different skills for other classes and you could uh, carry them over and equip them on them later. I like that. And that'll be that. You know what? Let's go ahead and drop this berry. How does this even... Oh, right-click it. Okay. So right-click to use. Oh! I, I hit Q by mistake and I used a potion. I'm not happy with myself. Not happy with myself because actually, you know what? It's not too bad because I'm going to get H 8 more HP with my berry. So it don't actually cap me off. So ideally, it actually worked out. <laughs> okay, never mind then. One of those mistakes that actually works in your favor for once. Ten more dudes to go down. Caterpillar dude. 
Oh, good. Gonna be dodging now, huh? Should be it. Making sure I got everything back here, right? We we did. Did I take the fireball? Or did I leave it behind? Oh, I left it behind. It. I think. I think I left the fireball behind. Hold up! Hold up! I don't want to leave that behind. No, I got it. Okay. For some reason, I thought I didn't pick it up. I guess it doesn't show up in your inventory. It just goes to like the skill book straight up. And what is this? Torture device of some kind. Come on, buddy. It's no use in running. You gotta go down in order for me to finish up this quest, right? You gotta stop dodging, too. You're not really too fast to dodge. You're not really a nimble-looking critter. You gotta kill eight more of them. Jeez. It's a bit of excessive, really, for like a second dungeon straight up. Hey, kill 16 enemies right now. It's kind of like, really? Seems a lot. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, that's a one-handed sword. Unless it's really, really good, it won't do me much of a favor. Unless it's strong, I could use it with a shield. There is that. Two to three, it's a dagger. I mean, I could use a dagger and a shield combination. There's that, I suppose. Eh. Whatever. Now, luckily, Radman doesn't hurt too much. Caterpie actually hurts a lot more than Radman. Give me some potions! No potions, we got gold. What is this? A potion of agility, oh. Well, I was looking for healing potions, but... That'll do. I think the other ones are like gems of some kind. So we're out of pots now. At this point, we are gonna be just healing off of our... Berries, so let me just have one extra berry here, just in case. We have to kill... Seven more dudes. Do I have enough HP for that, is the question. Not too certain about that. Oh, we got two of you straight up, huh? You know what? Let me use my fortitude skill. You gonna drop a... Uh, uh, you know, oh, yeah, sure. I'll walk right there, buddy. Of course. Let me draw back momentarily. Yeah, you chase me, you scumbag. Okay, so how's our HP right now with the fortitude skill? We're at 51 of 81. Cool. Six more dudes to go. Um... Do you want to, um, you know, come at me? Like, you'd have to go through the smoke, though, because I'm not going through the smoke. Okay, <laughs> I see what you're doing, but you need to come at me, because there you go, you idiot. <laughs> now, I just noticed something, though. In order for me to get through this door, I actually have to go through the smoke myself. Which is really shitty. Let me go around if I can. I need to kill five more of you, huh? I hope there's a way around. Otherwise, it's a really terrible spot to have that area, because you have to take damage. I mean, that's not really good level design. Like, you have to take damage to go through somewhere? No, no. You gotta give me a chance to be able to avoid it. That's the, that's the downside when it comes to procedurally generated levels. Sometimes, you know, you have no say as to what the game's gonna, you know, give you as a developer. So... There's that one downside. We have four more to kill right now. Yeah, see? This is a dead end, so we have to go through that door more than likely. So I have to take damage to go through there. Hmm, not too happy about that. Let's see. Let me use one more berry. And let me use, like, two mana potions so I could drop... Fortitude. And let's go in. For a second, I thought I had disappeared because I couldn't see my my image because I'm to the side. There we go. All right. I was like, wait, wait a minute. I had like an ima- Oof, my god, I'm about to go down. I'm literally about to go down. I have to kill three more of them. We might have to use this agility one too. And probably go crazy with piercing attacks pretty soon. So, you know what? Let's um use those blue pots and... Oh, you know what sucks? I have to take damage right now, too, to get through here. Oh, boy. And we got three more to fight. Look at this. This is terrible. Took five damage with that. Oh, I'm not liking my chances suddenly here. All right, we have two of them here. So after these two, I got to get, like, at least still one more. Two ratties, though, huh? Two ratties to go. No more healing. I'm going to use this potion of agility here. Oh, I'm taking damage already. Of course I would be. Um, and you know what? Let's use piercing attack as soon as possible. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. What, what, what happened? Attack. <laughs> We're so dead. Six HP left over. We are so dead. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I said earlier, the game is difficult? I wasn't messing around, although let's be honest here. Had I bought more potions to come into the dungeon, it probably would have been fine. But I still think that extra 5 damage we took right there was like really shitty, because it should be, you should be able to avoid something like that. Although it did seem there was another way to go around just now, was there not? So that's probably on me. But yeah, so our Paladin is now imprisoned, and we have to actually go out there and now in another class and rescue them. So that's the upside about the game, that even though you do lose somebody, you can still rescue them and be fine. I'm not sure if you keep the items that they had though. Paladin is imprisoned in Dungeon 2, complete the dungeon to rescue the prisoner. So, by completing the dungeon, you actually get them back, so there is that. But there you guys have it, this is gonna be... Resrog. Really interesting game, I really enjoy games like this, so let me know if you want to see some more and we'll definitely continue it. I want to give you guys a little bit quick of a preview of it though, but there you guys have it. I will catch you next time.